Good morning, everyone. Good morning. We are going to be leaving our site in St. Albert, just outside of Edmonton. We are going to Jasper National Park today. This is our first National Park stay, which is pretty exciting. We're going to get packing up and on the road. We got... Hey, Poppy. Oh, a little spill here. That's to add to the aesthetic. Ah. Iced coffee, baby. <laughs> like we are running low on dog food. We put a ton in when we left home and now we're down to probably the last meal. So we're gonna have to stop and pick up supplies on the way to Jasper today. Charlie! in Hinton, BC. We're giving the dogs a little rest. We're gonna have a quick lunch and get some supplies. Right out here, everyone. Literally. So you know what Jake thinks is hilarious? So the wipers, they go up. They go up. You turn them all the way up. <laughs> they, they try so hard. It's amazing. We got to Jasper. Wait, when did we cross over to Jasper? Like 20 minutes ago. Like 20 minutes ago. And it wasn't even good weather, though. It was no. like cloudy. Very cloudy. I knew it was going to rain, but it's pouring right now. We've made it to... The Wab Wabasso, Wabasso, camp is how it's spelled, Wabasso Campground. I'm really glad we're not staying in a tent, to be honest, because the campground attendant said there was a sighting of a bear on the campground. Bears kind of scare me. It's raining, um, quite heavily. We will probably go for a quick little hike somewhere. We're thinking Athabasca Falls. The views probably won't be very good, but we just gotta get out and do something. I just wanted to share a funny story here. After that little chat I just had, I took gravel because I was feeling a little nauseous from the car ride. And what I didn't realize beforehand was that the gravel we bought was not non-drowsy. So it knocked me out. <laughs> Jake found a leak in the trailer's bathroom and he was using like a drill and power tools to fix it and I don't even remember hearing anything. I slept through it all and when Jake finally woke me up because it was getting dark and we wanted to go see the waterfall, I was still so out of it and sleepy. I went from this Caramel popcorn. to this. From this Literally. to this. It did wear off after we came back from the falls, but lesson learned, guys, check your labels before you take your medication. We are going to go to Athabasca Falls, about a 20 minute drive away. Uh, even though it's pouring rain, it should still be pretty cool. Just waiting for the dogs and Tatina. And that's probably all we'll get done tonight. It's 7.30 already. Still want to come back, have a campfire, have dinner. And they've got to leave this campground by 12 p.m. tomorrow, I think. And then we go an hour to another another part of the national park and go to the Pocahontas site. There's no way you can hear me, but we're at the Athabasca Falls. Check it out.
didn't end up doing the full hike around the Athabasca Falls because it was raining so hard, so instead we just went back to the campground, grabbed some of the free firewood from their complimentary firewood pile, and Jake's gonna be making a fire for us while I make a classic super easy dinner. Leftovers. And I got a fire going. Gonna eat dinner by the fire. Charlie, Joey. Now, most of the time, I can hitch up the truck pretty much by myself. Not bad, just gotta back up a little bit. You ready to check out the Sun Wapita Falls? Ready? How long is this hike, babe? 0.1k. Oh my goodness. Oh, we should have brought a tent. <laughs> The weather really cleared up for us today, and we got beautiful views on our drive to the Pocahontas campground in the Jasper National Park. We didn't even have to exit our vehicle. This is what we saw while driving. standstill just outside of Jasper on the way to uh, the Pocahontas campground. Can't see what's Nothing's going moving. on. And no, no clue what's going on. Like a dead stop. People are coming out of their cars and trying to look what's going on. And there's no AM radio station we can check into. And this, is there an alternate route to the Pocahontas campground you think? I don't know. We might, we might start looking soon. But... It's not like we can turn around and go back. Like we have a reservation at the campground this way. Okay, so we just turned around. Somehow we managed. Actually, it wasn't even that hard. We've got a pretty small trailer, to be honest, and four lanes here. Some people driving by from the other side, I guess they turned around from farther up. They said that they were told it would be a six hour wait minimum. And one car actually drove past with a sign on their front windshield that said 6HR, and then the word fatality on it. Um, so that's pretty obvious what it means, and it's very sad. Pretty sad stuff if, if the fatality is true. There's no way around to get to our campground, so we're gonna try and find somewhere we can park the truck and trailer. We we're planning on doing the Jasper tram, um, so I'm hoping that they'll be parking for the trailer and truck there, and that we can just go do what we were gonna do today, and then later on take the take the trailer to the campground. Let's be careful out there. All right, we uh, drove up to the Jasper Sky Tram with the trailer. So there was RV parking, which is great. So we're parked here with the trailer. We're gonna leave the fan on in there, open up the windows, leave the dogs in there and go do the Sky Tram. I think there's a hike around here or up here. I'm not really sure, but we're gonna go do that. And then hopefully by the end of that, the accident will be cleared and we can go take the trailer to the campground. There's a summit trail after you get off the Sky Tram. 
so we're gonna go check that out. We're gonna end the video here, but make sure to join us next time. We're gonna ride up the Jasper Sky Tram and show you all the stunning views from the top of Whistler Mountain. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. We're on Instagram too as maxim.travels, so make sure to follow us there and say hi to us in our DMs. Until next time guys, stay safe and explore to the max. We're gonna have a quick lunch, a quick, a quick lunch.